So I went to bed last night with a killer headache and woke up resembling death this morning. So even though I got these stupid COVID tests to prove that they do a false negative, I'm going to do one. Okay. I'm going to move my brain wobbles. I'm trying to fucking move. Wait, don't chew on that, you little wanker. Scientist Trudy. That's disgusting. Stop kidding. So chewing on my shirt. Now we've got my germs. Infect this. Okay. <sighs> Mate, you're stressing me out. Stop! It is an information leaflet, man. <sighs> My head is blowing up. Right. Do I have COVID? Why is it when you're sick, nothing cooperates? The kitten's chewed on the box, man. You're worse than a puppy. Oh. All right. Oh, really? Motherfucker. Okay, so if it's got two lines, it's a negative, and if it's got three lines, it's a positive, by the look of it. They could make this fucking easier to understand, like, we're half dead, you know? Yeah, fuck you bitches, I don't have COVID. Yeah. See? No COVID. There's two lines, not three. Right? Right? Yeah, fuck. There's two. Two! Yes. So my moron brain seen that and was like, nope, you're a negative. When in fact... <laughs> The fucking positive. God damn it. I have COVID. I just woke up in a pile of sweat. My whole bed is soaking wet. I can barely move. This is horrible. I'm starving. I can't eat. Alright, so this is day one of testing positive for COVID. I woke up this morning and it was just a struggle to get out of bed. Opening my eyes just hurts my brain. Like I can feel it moving in my head. Like I'm freezing cold even though I got so much bedding and get these like mad sweats. And if the dogs bark, oh, it's so tragic. So, yeah, I caught COVID and it's terrible. It really is bad. Also, fuck, really turn off, you son of a bitch. Okay, guys, it's day two of me with COVID. <coughs> 
So it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. I've slept this whole time. And I regret to inform whoever the hell is watching this. <laughs> My bed is soaking wet. Like, I fear moving right now. My head is just like a cloud of fog. And it is horrible. I really don't want to get up. And thank God my dogs are still asleep, so I don't have to let them out yet. They're good dogs. So, um, overnight, since I'm so quick, I've obviously not moved. My back is kind of seized as well. So I can't move. Like, my whole body hurts. Uh, and obviously, my, th my nose and my throat is really sore too. Uh, so... <coughs> sexy right <laughs> oh god so yeah um i've also got this really bad hack which is really bad because it makes my head throb so it's really bad <coughs> <coughs> so yeah that's so far day two and i haven't even gotten up yet so I guess I would just catch his tomorrow, which would be day three, and hopefully I'm feeling a little bit better. <coughs> <coughs> I feel like death, guys. So I'm not going to be uploading a YouTube video. This will be the YouTube video because I am too sick to do anything. So, yeah, if I didn't mention that yesterday, I can't remember. So, yeah catches tomorrow I dread getting up and I have to wash my bed and my sheets and my blankets and replace them thank god I got heaps of blankets guys you guys talking to this camera is going to be my socialization socialization and you can't even respond good times oh well I shall catch you tomorrow and hopefully I'm feeling better <laughs> <clears throat> okay it's the end of day two and i feel like my brain is like shutting down at times i feel like i'm gonna pass out I'm excreting tears and i can't i've got no control over them i'm glistening with sweat like i am so hot right now like, it's insane like, oh my gosh, I, I see why people are so sick right now. Like, oh my god. Alright guys, I'm at day three. My head still hurts, like, constantly. Still hurts to breathe. I've stopped vomiting, which is good. But at this point I'm not getting worse and I'm not getting better, so yeah. Just still riding it out. I don't get up unless I have to, so pretty much still bedridden. <sighs> Got a couple very well behaved dogs, so that's good. But yeah, I've got a really high temperature. Not that I've got an accurate thermometer to actually confirm it, so I won't say it. But yeah. So I guess I shall just see you all on day four with an update on how this is all going I guess like I feel like it's pretty stupid really because like no one records what the flu's like but after the drama of what's been happening I figured well stuff it I will do a video about my progress so yeah at this point I think I'm repeating myself because I'm not quite with it so I will just see you all tomorrow which will be i think day four and hopefully i start feeling a bit better um my nose is not running anymore but every time i i move my brain just throbs so yeah i'm just going to continue to stay in bed oh uh, um sleep is almost impossible now by the way i got next to no sleep last night 
So unlike day one and two, where I just slept constantly, now I'm struggling to even fall asleep. So roll on night time so I can try to sleep. I'm going to try to stay awake for as long as possible during the day and try to go to sleep at about seven, eight, nine o'clock tonight and try and keep my sleeping pattern as regular, regular as I can. See so, yeah. ya. Okay. Oh, fuck. All right, guys, it's day four of COVID, having COVID. Today sees me out of bed. Um, oh, I do actually feel a little bit better, believe it or not. I may not look or sound it yet, but I do actually feel a little bit better, despite the fact that I passed out on the toilet last night and woke up on the floor. So, yeah, um, I've still got a terrible headache, um, I still feel really bad there, my nose is still really blocked, my brain still wobbles if I move too fast, my, doesn't hurt to breathe anymore, so that's good, um, and I don't feel like I'm gonna throw up constantly, so that's really good as well, guys. So, yeah, finally, coming out the other end of this really fucking slowly. It's like really slowly. So yeah, I'm gonna spend a bit of time today cleaning since I've let my house go just a little bit. I'm not even gonna show you, to be honest. I got dogs, like there's dog toys chewed to bits everywhere. So yeah, I'm gonna cruise today and hopefully I feel better tomorrow. Okay guys, so it's day five of me having COVID and I'm finally starting to feel like a woman again. Um, that was an absolutely brutal freaking experience. Like, I've never been so sick. Like, I have not been that sick in years. Um, yeah, that was absolutely insane. So obviously I'm still croak, um, but I'm finally out of bed. <laughs> so that's awesome. Um, yeah, the brain is not trying to escape my head. Like, that swelling feeling was absolutely horrible. Um, yeah, so pretty much still in isolation for another, like, four days, I think. Can't actually remember. But, yeah, finally getting better. <laughs> okay, so it's day six, and... Still got a bit of like a blocked nose and a head flu, but I'm pretty much over the whole COVID sickness thing, which is really good. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm still in isolation. Gotta stay in isolation for a bit longer, and I'm not actually back to 100% yet. But yeah, obviously I'm out of bed and I'm feeling better, which is fantastic. 